Hello everybody, uh, Happy New Year. Um, welcome to an update vi video. I know you've been wait waiting a while for another video. Um, my name is Martin. I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Uh, this week, we are not doing a technical overview of the things that I've done, but we are instead doing a year end review for 2022. At the end of the year, what I try and do is I try and break down my earnings and some of the uh, difficulties, the challenges, um, some of the opportunities that are available if you wanted to do free and open source pro programming yourself and you wanted to have a user fo focus where you try and program free software for normal u users. This is instead of developing, for example, for businesses or having a proprietary uh, prospect where you don't actually get to do free and software at all. Um, if you've watched the previous year's videos, you'll know that this business is very new. It's also very experimental. And uh, partly I want to be open with how this business is going so that you guys can see, um, you know, what I'm earning. You can see how easy it is to spend time working on Inkscape. Uh, you might think that this is a bit of a radical openness, but it's it's really part of the project because the idea is is that we want to prove that it's possible to make free so software without all of the strings attached, uh, you know, without requiring super large corporations to constantly be on our backs about like what we get to have and how we how our tools get to work for us. Okay, so with that. So let's start off with the totals. Um, so we have three years, 2020, 2021, and 2022. Uh, 2020, I earned uh, 22,000. Mostly this was affected by COVID pan pandemic. Um, in 2021, I earned 35,000, uh, mostly on the back of con contracts. And in, last year, in 2022, I earned 26,000. Um, now, you might think that that's a pretty bad fall off from 2021, but it actually hides a more uh, positive figure, which is the fact that the, um, the amount of that that comes from Inkscape and comes from Patreon has increased dr dramatically. So if we look at the percentage of uh, earnings from uh, Inkscape user for focused development, we'll see that in 2020, it was 1%. Basically, it was the start of the business. Uh, 2021 was 18%, and 2022 was 96%, right? Which basically means that the vast, vast majority of uh, time that I spent was on Inkscape. Um, uh, paid, paid for Inkscape, not, not even volunteer Inkscape. You should make that clear, because the, there are two different buckets that I put, put the hours in, into. Um, this, is a, this is a massive change, and I think it's a phase shift from me focusing you know, doing a lot more client work uh, that's not to do, do with Inkscape to focusing almost entirely on Inkscape. Um, but hopefully that continues and I'll be able to spend, you know, decent chunks of time working on the things that you guys want. That's that's the whole point of this. So what I do is when I'm doing um, my calculation for how many hours I need to work on Inkscape is, I have a sliding scale. So uh, essentially, if 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 I'm not getting many many supported hours, um, the hours are kind of cheap. Like my per hourly rate is very low, um, and in fact, the first five hours are basically free, because I need to prime the pump some somehow. Um, and then the sliding scale goes up. So the more support I get, the more expensive the hours get. Um, and the hope there is is actually that there'll come a point where. I will be actually spending some of the money that I'm supported on on other developers or the designers or the people. Uh, that's my fondest wish is to be able to bring more people in on this project. Um, in 2020, I was working for about $1 an hour. Um, I basically spent almost every hour I could doing Inkscape work. Uh, in 2021, I spent uh, 190 hours on paid Inkscape work. Uh, for $11 an hour, 
And in 2022, I spent 730 hours of paid Inkscape time at $27 an hour. Um, I should also say that I did have sponsor sponsors, which was great. Um, one of the things that I've included in the figures here is a, a $2,000 computer from System76. So those are all bun bundled in, and I include those in things like the hourly calculations. So my, my, my volunteer hours moved from doing uh, 900 hours of volunteer time in 2021 to doing 400 hours in 2022. Um, so there's still a there's still quite a bulk, but the majority of hours are now not volunteer hours. Uh, the majority of hours are actually supported by you, which is which is great. Um, most of the time that I spend as a volunteer is on things that I was doing before, things like website administration, community management, uh, meetings, uh, helping other people in the Inkscape pro project um, sort out problems that they might be having. Um, those all things take time to organize. Okay, so where are we going in 2023? Uh, this is a, an, an exciting year. I'm hoping that we manage to grow some more and we manage to make this uh, even more effective. Um, I have started a new um, corporation, a new business with a friend of mine. Um, this is a business which will hopefully be able to capture some of the clients which I've not yet been able to access. Uh, things like funding from grants, funding from uh, small businesses or medium-sized businesses, uh, some educational, some good governmental. Um, this is this is basically another experiment. It's basically there to say, is it possible to work on things like Inkscape um, and attract uh, slightly larger pots of money um, and be able to amalgamate those with you know, the, the money that I spend on for the user fo 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 focus biz business. Um, it might be that I end up in a situation where the user focus stuff is so successful that I don't really need to do much on the, um, you know, bigger business side. But then those that work can then be offloaded onto other developers and things can be shared. So the idea is, is basically in big in the pie, make the, the um, project more successful by inviting more uh, collaboration and cooperation from people who already use In Inkscape but have no avenue from which they can actually help uh, you know basically put their resources into the project. Um, we'll, we'll see how that goes. I'll be reporting in 2024 if that's been successful and how many of my hours and so on have been um, brought into that. Um, I'll be continuing with the Patreon, with the LibrePay and with the Buy Me a Coffee. Uh, those uh, have been pretty successful uh, vast, vast majority of it has been Patreon. Um, I won't be on Twitter anymore, which is unfortunate. So I'm expecting a slowdown in the number of users that I, that I managed to get on into the into the system, simply because my outreach will have shrunk considerably. Um, this is a decision that I had to make based upon the fact that the Twitter is no longer really a viable pl platform. Uh, even though there's still a lot of people on there, especially there's a lot of Inkscape users on on there. Um, so I may be asking more for people to share my videos and things in the spaces where, where they are just so I can increase the outreach um, and get this pro project into into more people's laps so that they can, can consider whether like they're using Inkscape and they think my work is good and they want to support it. Um, I am so grateful for the help uh, and support that all of you guys have show, shown me over 2022. Um, it's really heartening to be able to have shifted from doing, you know, some Inkscape work, mostly volunteer, to basically be doing mostly paid work uh, for you. Uh, you know, I'm not doing mostly paid work for some corporation, not doing mostly paid work for, you know, some entity that has different needs from a normal art artist. I'm able to actually focus on what, what do you guys want. Um, and so I will be... Continuing on, uh, let's go. We've got color stuff to do. Um, next week, I will be uh, doing some actual Inkscape uh, updates for you. I have done a bunch of work on the swatches and the color palette, and I'm really in, in, interested to show, show those to you. And um, yeah, thank you for watching this video. Um, oh, there was one amendum, addendum, which was, uh, do you remember I took December off? Um, by the way, thank you so much for letting me take December off. The week after that, everybody in my house got sick. 
Uh, it was coincidental and it was very good that I had somehow foreseen that I would need this tight time off because everybody was really sick uh, just before Christmas. So, yeah. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Um, it, but we all got better. N nobody was seriously in injured. But, uh, yeah, 2022 is finished. Uh, I will see you all next week.